England vs Australia time. Odds, lines. Soccer expert reveals women's World Cup picks. Semi-final predictions. England look to avenge their only loss in more than two years when they meet co-hosts Australia on Wednesday in the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup semi-finals. England have recorded 29 victories and 7 draws over 37 matches since April 2021, with the only loss in that span being a 2-0 setback against Australia in an international friendly this past April. The English have won all five of their contests in this tournament, including a 2-1 triumph over Colombia in the quarterfinals. The Australians reached the semis for the first time by edging France on penalties. Kickoff at Stadium Australia in Sydney is set for 6 a.m. Eastern Time. The English are the plus 135 favourites. Risk $100 to win $135. In the latest England vs Australia odds, while the Australians are plus 230 underdogs. A 90-minute draw is priced at plus 190 and the over-under for total goals scored is 1.5. Before locking in any Australia vs England picks, you need to see what proven sportsline soccer expert Brant Sutton has to say. Sutton, a former collegiate soccer player, has been Sportsline's top soccer editor for nearly five years. He has followed soccer closely for much longer and factors in managerial tactics, projected lineups and past performances to make the most informed decisions possible, keeping his finger on the pulse of the game all over the globe. He finished 2022 as Sportsline's top soccer expert with a 165-1302 mark, returning nearly $2,200 for $100 players. Now, Sutton has broken down England versus Australia from every angle and just revealed his picks and predictions. You can head to Sportsline now to see Sutton's picks. Here are the betting lines and trends for Australia versus England. Why you should back England. The Lionesses have reached the semi-finals for the third time in the last four Women's World Cups but are looking to make their first trip to the final after suffering 2-1 losses to Japan in 2015 and the United States four years later. The club has outscored its opponents 10-2 and posted three clean sheets in this year's competition. England have been without Beth Mead for the entire tournament due to a ruptured ACL and won't have top scorer Lauren James on the pitch Wednesday as she finishes serving a two-game suspension. That means other forwards such as Lauren Hemp and Alessia Russo will need to step up offensively. The duo provided the scoring in England's quarterfinal victory, with the 23-year-old Hemp converting just before halftime to level the match and the 24-year-old Russo netting the decisive goal in the 63rd minute. The Lionesses also received goals from both women against China in their group stage finale, a 6-1 victory. Why you should back Australia? The Australians also have played well defensively in the competition, posting clean sheets in four of their five contests, including each of the last three. Offensively, the team is led by Haley Rosso, who has recorded three goals. The 28-year-old winger recorded a brace in the Matildas' 4-0 victory against Canada in their group stage finale and converted once in the team's 2-0 triumph over Denmark in the round of 16. The only other player with multiple goals in this competition for Australia is defender Steph Catley, who recorded the lone goal in the tournament opening 1-0 win against the Republic of Ireland. Winger Caitlin Ford has registered a goal and two assists, while also converting in the penalty shootout against France in the quarterfinals. The hero of that victory was winger Courtney Vine, who converted Australia's 10th attempt to send the co-hosts to the semi-finals. Thanks for watching NY Sports News. Stay tuned for more updates.